Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm Robin, and I'm going to tell you what my four favorite Valentine's Day whiskeys are to share with loved ones. So the reason I chose all four of these whiskeys that I'm about to list is because each whiskey has some significance to me and to my partner who I will be sharing these whiskeys with. So that is what qualifies them to me as Valentine's Day whiskeys. These are whiskeys that I want to share with someone on a special occasion. And I guess Valentine's Day qualifies as a special occasion. So coming in at number four, we have Brucladi Black Art 1992. This is a 24 year old unpeated Isla single malt scotch whiskey. It's super, super delicious. And Jerry bought this bottle of whiskey for me to celebrate defending my PhD. We were both really excited to try this, really wanting to try this, and he hunted it down in a small little liquor store in New York City to pick it up so that we could celebrate with it. And coming in at number three is Kinnan V 17 year old. This is a space side single malt scotch whiskey and it's a travel exclusive. So Jerry and I picked this up at a duty free in China on our way home from our trip to Thailand. We went to Thailand with my sister and her husband, Ben, and had an amazing time. So every time I enjoy this, I am reminded of that trip to Thailand. Coming in at number two, we have this 27-year-old Kaulila that was bottled by the Whiskey Agency. This is a 27-year-old peated Isla single malt scotch whiskey that is finished in rum casks. This was the first bottle I ever bought at auction and I got it for Jerry for his 30th birthday. So it is a very special dram. And as you can tell, this is a very special occasion whiskey because we've barely had any of it. And coming in at number one might be a little bit of a surprise because it's not a scotch and I've just listed three other scotches. This is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is the actual bottle that Jerry and I bought when we first moved in together in New York City. So yeah, it has this special meaning to it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is also what catalyzed my interest in whiskeys and other distilled spirits. So this is a very, very special bottle and there's only a little bit left. And yeah, we're definitely savoring that and making it last as long as possible. And I'm going to leave you with an honorable mention whiskey. One whiskey that I love to share with other people. It doesn't just have to be my partner. It could be with friends or any loved ones um, or just with myself. This is Lafroig Cargis. This is their 2020 release. It's been my favorite thus far. It's a port and wine cask finish and Cargis means friendship. So definitely one that is good to share with friends. If you're trying to figure out what whiskey to share on Valentine's Day, gift on Valentine's Day, enjoy on Valentine's Day on your own, make sure whatever it is, it just has some significance to you or to whoever you're sharing it with. Make sure there's some personal connection there and it's something that you really, really appreciate and enjoy. And if you really can't figure out what whiskey to get for Valentine's Day, you can always check out the article that Whiskey Advocate posted last year about bottles to get for Valentine's Day. It's Flaming Heart by Compass Box. It's Four Roses. Lafroig also came out with a PX I Love You. There are plenty of punny whiskeys to choose from that work for a Valentine's Day gift like Valentine's, right? Rhymes with Valentine's. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah, leave me a comment below. What are you sharing on Valentine's Day or what's a whiskey that you enjoy sharing for special occasions? And I wanna give a shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and being the start of this community on Patreon. If you'd like to join Patreon, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Oh, goodbye. <laughs>